Hello and welcome to Get to Know Your County Commissioner, the program that speaks to our elected officials about issues of importance in our community. I'm Erica Benitez-Gill. The sixth annual Miami International Agriculture Horse and Cattle Show is back April 12th through the 14th at Tropical Park. Joining us now with more details is the creator of this wonderful event, District 10 Commissioner, Senator Javier Soto. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Great to be here with you, Erica. Well, yes, uh, the... Um, the sixth the sixth year anniversary. Already. Wow, it's, I can't uh, believe it. It's, it's unbelievable, you know, that uh, time flies. We started with this uh, idea of uh, uh, having a, a uh, show, uh, a cattle show, horse show, agriculture show, because Florida is an agriculture state, as you probably know, and, uh, uh, and Miami-Dade County is uh, an agricultural county. We are the, uh, our second source of revenues in Miami-Dade County comes from agriculture. A lot of people don't know that. They think it's only South Beach, you know, hotels, the, the uh, cruises, et cetera, et cetera. But agriculture is our second source of revenues, uh, meaning that there's a lot of tomatoes and uh, jams and uh, flowers and orchids and stuff, you know, down going to Homestead. Plus, there's a, a, a tremendous quantity of horses, great horses, fine horses, expensive horses. And now, uh, over the years, this thing about uh, the uh, the cattle business, the genetics and the the, uh, the shipment of genetics and cattle and to South America, Central America, and the Caribbean, uh, well, has taken place over the last years, and um, it's going very well. Um, so much so that every week there's um, several shipments of animals. Um, through the airport, going to Central South America and the Caribbean, and uh, there's also animals coming in. And many of these businesses are located in my district, in the, in the area called Horse Country. Mm -hmm. So um, with all of that in mind, we, uh, we realize that the Miami, Miami is, a, is a perfect place for all these marketing business of cattle and horses. Uh, I'm not talking about, watch that, I'm not talking about uh, mm, big ranches mm -hmm. in these neighborhoods mm -hmm. because there we, we, have, we have no space for big ranches, really. Uh, the, but <clears throat> the ranches around here are small, but uh, what we tried to get into when we started with this was the high-tech aspect. In other words, the, the, uh, for instance, the genetic things that I was uh, telling you about, um, why? Well, because nowadays, uh, that's what that's people say. Where's the beef? Well, that's where the beef is. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where the beef is, and and uh, <laughs> because of that, we have a uh, mostly a beef cattle show here in Miami County. Um, but I'm saying that's where the beef is because that's where the money is. Right. That's where the money is. Um, it, in today's world, uh, this highly trained technicians, veterinarians, um, uh, technicians specialized in artificial insemination and the creation of embryos and all that, uh, they are in so much demand because the breeds of, the breeds of cattle, of cattle, different cattle, uh, different, different breeds all over the world. Mm -hmm. You know, you could have Brahmins, Angus, uh, mm, uh, short horns, uh, these, that, and then you have the, the, the crosses of the Brahman. The Brahman, they say, is in, in itself a different species. It's called Bos Indicus. Hmm. It's from India. Uh, India, there, way, up, way back there. Uh, and, and, uh, um, and the other cattle, like the Angus and the Shorthorn and so on, so forth, and the, and the, the uh, dairy breeds, such as Holstein, Brown Swiss, Guernsey, Jersey, they're European breeds. So they're European breeds, and there, there's the, the Bos Indicus, and there are other breeds also. Uh, but what happens is that in this country, in the USA, uh, a lot of crosses have developed, such as the, the Brangus, which is a cross between an Angus and a, and a Brahmin. They call the Brangus, great, great beef, great meat, great. Um, there's crosses of the dairy cattle, like the Holstein with the, with the Brahmin. Uh, and crosses of the of the brown Swiss with the Brahmin, 
And these animals are great because they can produce milk and, uh, uh, in the countryside and live in, in, in the pastures. They don't need special attention. They can go to Colombia, they can go to Mexico, they can go to uh, any, any, any country where the weather is warm, where there's a lot of maybe insects and mm -hmm. uh, mosquitoes and, and uh, uh, maybe even, even, even uh, 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 pumas and tigers, you know, and stuff like that, otorongos in Peru, and, mm -hmm. and survive because they're tough animals. So um, because of all that, we realized that Miami is, could be, could be, could be uh, the, the focal point, the place for this kind of business. Well, I mean, we're, we're geographically privileged, you know, because we are, you know, in the center of, of you know, the exactly. rest of the look country and, look, and down look, South America. And look at a map, so. look at a map, look at a map of, of this area, of the mm -hmm. Gulf of Mexico area and the Caribbean, you know, and you'll see that Miami uh, at the point of Florida, of the peninsula of Florida, is, is, is closer to Mexico and closer to Central America and South America than Texas is or Louisiana. And these are the two states where there's a lot of uh, that type of cattle, Brahmins and all that, and crosses. So Florida, the whole state, uh, is into all, all of that. But us in Miami-Dade County, we're now trying to really get into it, knowing the, the, the abundant supply of good minds. You have a lot of boys and girls here who are very smart people, and we have a lot of universities and colleges, and they can they could specialize in that kind of thing of genetics, uh, 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 veterinary stuff, uh, and create all the jobs. Because the beauty of all this is that the jobs in agriculture create a lot of other jobs. Right. So, you know, uh, if you're going to produce, uh, let's say, tomatoes, well, you have you have to employ somebody to drive a truck, somebody to uh, uh, drive a tractor. You somebody have to, to collect somebody the, the to go product, somebody and to collect it, and somebody take it. There's a lot of people working there. Right. A lot of you're 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 spreading the wealth. So so uh, you bring jobs to the people, and um, with all the the new stuff, with all the new electronics, and Miami Dade County, as you know, we uh, if it happens any place in the world. We know it right away, mm -hmm. and we're on top of that. And tomorrow, if a machine is 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 made in in, in, in England, in uh, tomorrow that, that machine will be here. Mm -hmm. So uh, we we are pretty much into everything. So and 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 the Europeans love Miami. The Germans love Miami. Yeah. You know, and and, and uh, hey, you know, most of this advancement comes from the European countries. Right. So we are at the right place at the right moment. So we need to take care of that take advantage of that, then get into this part of the world, and, and then Miami Airport. Right. You know, mm -hmm. Miami Airport, we, we're connected to the world. So, you know, we are the best connected airport vis-a-vis -vis Latin America in the USA. Right. No doubt about that. Right. But not only that, we're connected to the world now. And so you can take flights to Asia, flights to uh, different parts of the world from here to mm -hmm. Africa. Connect. We are connected. So we need to take advantage of that. So the, the, more, the more advantage we, we take of that, the more wealth is going to come here, the more money is going to come into Miami-Dade County, and, and the better it is for our people. And what better opportunity? I mean, this is a very unique opportunity for locals and, and other people that have never visited Miami to, you know, to, to have exposure to such very topics, uh, you know, anything related to cattle. Also, I know that there's a lot of uh, um, uh, plans, new exactly. plans. Exactly, we have there's a lot of we have, we have shows, conferences about about uh, plans, about grafting, about this and about that. All all free. Uh, you can buy orchids and flowers and things. Uh, you can buy uh, uh, even farm equipment. There's probably going to be a display of some sort of farm equipment. There's going to be, uh, uh, I'm sure, a display of uh, saddles and things. Do you have a uh, new saddle for your horse? No, no. not yet. I haven't bought one. <laughs> you need to get into that. <laughs> Anyways, you can buy boots. You can buy hats. Uh, uh, it, it's it's a great it's great truly opportunity a unique to get opportunity. into that. And of course, the kids because they, we we have uh, uh, rodeo type activities for free. Uh, the kids go crazy with you that. You just said a key word, free. 
Free, free. It's free. It, it's, uh, it, everything is free except the food. The food. You know, uh, but you know, you don't have to eat if you don't want to or drink. But if you want to have, uh, uh, remember, the money go to to autism. It's um, it goes to a school called South Florida Autism Charter School, mm -hmm. and they have 144, I think it is now, uh, kids. It's free education for. It's a it's an, an an open school for all those who qualify. It's in the north part, of, the north part of the county of Miami Dade County, and uh, these are local boys and girls. And it's 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 a great cause. So um, all in all, it's it's a great event, and it's everyone's event. Uh, it's it is not my event. I just happen to think about that and and to put it, you know glue all the parts together. It's like a puzzle, you know. And and I, I glue, I'm sure you're not giving yourself enough credit for that because no, uh, you, I, know, you know it, it really does take there's, a lot there's to a bring, lot of people who bring work this there together. With me. Mm. A lot of good people, a lot of uh, good minds, and uh, men, women. Who contribute their, their time, and their effort to put this thing together? Um, a lot of people from the county, a lot of people from outside of the county who help us to create this activity, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I go there and I go crazy. I go all day long from here to there, you know, just just trying to see that everything uh, works out right. And thanks God, I mean, knock on wood, you know, we haven't had any problem whatsoever. You you got to be careful because of course you know animals are animals and there's right. there's a bunch of big bulls and cows there and horses but we have people watching all that too and of course they are tied. Uh, uh, well, it's it's very well organized. Oh yes, event. oh yes. And these animals are in, in general very tame. You know, uh, uh, you 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 got to watch it because animals are animals. Right. Uh, and and uh, you you really can't be. Uh, that's why we have to. We have volunteers. <laughs> yeah, we have volunteers with. Uh, Little sticks, you know, trying to drag the people. No, you know, he's the bull coming now, and he's come a two thousand two thousand pound bull, you know, and he's acting like 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 a little uh, boy and or a pet, you know, and be, being being walked by maybe maybe a woman or maybe a young girl. He comes this two thousand pound bull, you know. People, oh, look at that! Look at that bull! Look at that bull! You know, and the bull goes and he's 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 quiet. And uh, uh, but you you, you got to be careful not to get in front of the bull. You know? Right, right. Uh, so uh, what it, can people great. expect this year? Is well, they can expect years, uh, a lot of excitement. I think uh, um, the only thing we always praise for good weather. Good weather, you know, good of weather. course. But uh, yeah, sometimes it, we have had rain, and if it rains, it sort of uh, slows down a little bit, and it picks up again. Uh, most of the time, the weather is good. You know, this time of the year, the weather is pretty good in Miami. So. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, good weather, and and then and then uh, just go there and enjoy it. Uh, go with your friends. You can take um, everybody in the family. Uh, the parking lot gets full of people. But we have we have uh, small buses that take the the person from one side to another. If you can't walk too far or and can't walk tropical too well. park is accessible from tropical park. Many it, areas. It's uh, it, it's a it's a beautiful place. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's all green, you know, with lakes. Uh, in the nighttime, there's lights all over the place, so but there's, it's very safe. I've been to, I've been to many shows like this in in, in 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 this country, and in other parts of the world, and I can tell you that our park, uh, it, it is, uh, uh, it, 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 it is not the the, the, the fanciest of them all, uh, because I've seen some parks like the ones in Brazil and the one the ones in Texas that are they are very old events you know right. hundred year old right. event right, right. and they have uh, beautiful buildings mm -hmm. the, uh, ours is, is the big uh, uh, hangar type uh, that we have thing there and and the stalls for the horses but but uh, uh, it it's pretty and, and it works well well every park is different every park right. is different. and I again I've been to very fancy parks and, and, and but we don't need that we don't we really you know I mean you can it's like a car you know you can have Basic transportation, or more. Or less. You can have a Rolls Royce if right. you want. You know, it all depends. So, uh, where can people find out more information about the cattle show? Well, we we're also in the internet. And by the way, I said I don't know if I said that the uh, the the sale that we have the first night, the auction, uh, and and it's if you haven't seen an auction one day, go and see that. You know, the guy <laughs> as they go in the auctions and and, we, and and don't move a finger because if you go like that, say, sold to Erica for, you know, $5,000. Wow. I said, what? What did they say? <laughs> no, you moved your hand, you know. So you, you got to be very careful with moving your, even even your even your eyes. Your eyes. <laughs> you know, because these guys read eyes, you know. They, so go to the auction 
and uh, uh, the auction is on the internet also, uh, www.miamicattleshow.com. The information is also on your site, correct? It's on, 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 the, on my website too, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, okay. uh, if you go into my website, you, you'll see it over there. But if, if not, it's www.miamicattleshow.com. Excellent. Uh, yeah. And uh, again, every, everyone's Everyone invited. Is mm -hmm. Go there with your kids, with your family, your relatives. Enjoy the, the day uh, and, or the night or the whole day if you want to. You know, it's free and uh, uh, you, you're going to have a ball. We hope everybody takes okay. advantage of it. Thank you very much. My pleasure. And that's all the time we have for this edition of Get to Know Your County Commissioner. I'd like to thank Senator Soto for being here today. For more information about this event or any county programs and services, call 311 or go online miamiday.gov. I'm Erica Benitez-Gill. Thanks for watching.